I know that you use like crystals and stuff. So like, tell us about your routine with that. Like, how did you learn? Cause, cause that can go pretty deep, <laughs> you know, like what goes where, what does what? So how do you use crystals? Using the resources, like the different podcasts and just like searching up specific things, um, really like taught me a lot about that. But funnily enough, my pop up, he like collects crystals. He actually like, goes out and digs them himself. This man has like hundreds and hundreds of crystals in his house. Um, so like I originally got crystals from him because he would like mine them and dig them up and he just like hands them out like little presents to everyone, like every time I saw him. Aww. So that's what really like first got it in my hands and it's me starting to learn about it. And I feel like you can interpret it different ways, like obviously there's certain colors of the crystals that have different meanings and specific crystals that have specific meanings. But I think just like finding one and like, if you feel attracted to it, if you're like vibing with it, even if you just like the color, like that's what's going to matter most, like how your energy reacts to it. So um, what I typically do is just when I'm about to like go meditate or do yoga, I literally just sit in front of my little shelf of crystals. I'm like, which one is calling to me today? And I just pick them up. And if I like observe them later and it's like, oh, say there were blue crystals and blue is like the color of your throat chakra. I'm like, oh, have been, I've been like holding something in. Have I not been saying something? Have I like been holding back my voice? Um, and then like red crystals are like your root chakra where um, it's like the, the root of everything, like the base mm-hmm. of who you are, your emotions and stuff. So if I pick up a red crystal, I'm like, okay, I just really need to balance myself and like really get down to the root problem of something again I'm I'm no expert on this obviously this comes from like years of different traditions and religions but just trying to associate myself with like these natural elements I feel like really just you feel the energy in them like personally I feel like I feel the energy in them especially when you're like trying to pick it out all I tell my friends I'm like just find one that you vibe with and that's good it's more about the intention you put into the crystal Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like you're super intuitive and you don't have to be an expert. Like you're, you're being guided. (laughs) And I, I I feel like that's all of our, the younger generation is like, we're just like learning bits and pieces from everywhere. And then we just mix it into our own, like we put it together ourselves into what works for us. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like our generation has a lot less of a cookie cutter type lifestyle, you know? And that's again, kind of that whole thing where everything like everyone has um but it's like yeah there's no like one right way or one exact way to do something or to live your life where people are like more accepting of everyone's like differences and like ability to live their life and not stick to the status quo 